Um, hello everybody. I didn't think about this until now, but uh, this is the last level of Far Home Pass. Um, the challenging level, as they call it. And I can't remember if I'm on the third or the fourth wave or whatnot, but uh, I figured I'd throw this together real quick. I hear a lot of people ask, and there's a ton of videos out there with people explaining how to do it, but I'm just going to make a quickie here toward the end just to finish it off and help everybody else out if you run across mine. Um, you're not going to get to see the beginning, but it's the same all the way through, so it's no difference. <clears throat> the critical part is what you bring with you. Um, I have a well-leveled up team, uh, Wukong is kind of a key, but you can't get through it without him. I know a few people that have. Um, it relies heavily on your items. As you can see, I brought with me plenty of health. Um, keeping my heroes healthy is very important. I need all five of my guys to survive up until the boss at least. So I doubled up on health potions, and then I brought the actual meat and potatoes of my items, which is five bombs and five axe attacks. Um, so anyways, let's finish this guy off, and I'll explain as we walk through the rest. So we're going to move this yellow gem to hit him for the last time. Alright. And this is the level before the boss, so everybody on my team's already charged up all the way, but the thing's going to be to kill everybody off and get everybody charged back up before I go into the boss fight, so... I'm going to heal up. Okay, now I know that my Kaylee, Kesherek, and Wu are all good and healthy. Um, Gambler Stance is still on, so I'm going to go ahead and start unloading some of these gems. Um, and everybody's charged up, so I'm really not too concerned. I know they're all going to hit me so hard. Okay, still have Gambler Stance on. Alright, everybody's still healthy, still charged up. Um, let's see. Okay, there goes Gambler Stance. Now, to punch through their defenses and start wearing these guys out so I can ghost tiles and uh, recharge on my heroes. We'll apply Grim right there. And this guy over here on the edge can be a pain in the butt if you don't get him. So we're going to put the burn on him. Okay. Now, um, I'll wait a little while to heal. Deal with that. Okay, see, I was waiting for the heal. So we'll heal. We'll apply Wukong. And we'll start wiping these guys out. Okay. Let's see. What do I have over here to hit you with? Um... I could unleash my crystal and charge my Sabina back up right now, but I'm going to hold off on that and try to ensure that I charge up my other heroes, so we'll take some red. We'll go this way for some more purple just to charge Sabina. Okay, and that charged up my Kelly. Um... I don't see any blues to speak of or yellows. So what I'm going to do is heal. Get up that gem, try and bring some stuff up onto the board. Alright, well there goes some more of my red and yellow. But if I choose to do that, I'm probably gonna wipe these guys out. Gambler stance is down. Let's see what happens. Okay. Now, everybody's close to being charged up, 
and decent health. I'm going to go ahead and get this crystal. Alright, that charged everybody up but Sabina. I'm going to go ahead and get this crystal. Um, still no purples to speak of, but I have my Keshirek built up already for a heal. Um, and I think I'm going to just roll with that. Let's see. Um, I really don't want to use my Keshirek just yet, so I'll just choose this to wipe him out. Okay. And we're on to the boss. Now, here's the trick. You take a look. This guy has Furious Bite. Deals 235% damage to the target. This guy has Blizzard. Deals 92% damage to all enemies. All enemies get negative 18 defense for 6 turns. Okay, so this guy right here is the threat. That's who I need to take out first. So what I'm going to do is apply my defense debuff with Grim. I'm going to put the burn on him to start wearing him down. And then I'm going to tear him up. Enjoy, gentlemen. I have another axe. Oh, much nicer. Um, would you care for a bomb? I have a few. How do you like them apples? Just yummy, yummy apples. Now, of course, you have to have the supplies to do this. But as you can see, I haven't even made a move on the board yet with gems. And the threat's almost gone. So now we're going to activate blue. And we're going to go ahead and just charge my grim back. We'll take the... Goes off. And goodbye, um, last level guy. So, that's how you do it. Um, as you can see, I didn't even have to touch my uh, health items. And I never had to use my Sabina. Um, dumping those axes and those bombs really makes a number on them. And that weakens their attacks so much, too, that they really can't do a whole lot, even if you didn't get it as fast as I did. And there you go. A two-star hero to feed to somebody. And my Farsight Telescope for ascending a five-star blue. Um, plus a nugget, which are rather handy once you get your forge built up. But um, that's that. Um, I just wanted to throw that together real quick just to help a few people out. And uh, good luck on the events and the uh, quests. And I'll see you guys later.